Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock and get all 17 legendary Pokemon in Romana's Park in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Quick warning for the video. While I may be giving a lot of simple instructions out to you, this process is not as easy as you think it is. And it is a very time consuming process to get all the legendary Pokemon. If you're excited about catching these legendary Pokemon, leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content like this. Without further ado, guys, let's get on into this video and teach you guys how to catch all these legendary Pokemon in the games. To unlock Romana's Park, you need to defeat the Elite Four and Cynthia and become the champion of the Sinnoh region. You then also need to complete your regional decks and head over to the Pokemon Laboratory where you will meet up with Professor Rowan and also be introduced to Professor Oak. Oak will talk to you about the national decks and all that fun stuff and also tell you about Romana's Park. You will then have to head over to Romana's Park and meet Professor Oak there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys now how to get to Romana's Park if you haven't been there. So I'm just gonna head over here, head down south. You get to Route 219, get on your surf. Once you're in the water, cross the little island, continue heading south, turn right. Continue going to the east from there. Follow this little stone path. Then you arrive on Route 221. Hop onto the land. Continue walking straight this way. Straight through the forest. And just like that, congratulations. You now have arrived at Romana's Park. Once you complete that and enter Romana's Park, you will notice two people at the counter. One of the ladies sells a whole bunch of Pokeballs and items that will help you in your battle with the legendary Pokemon. And the other lady you go to will have something called slates. You will notice that in order to buy these slates, it will cost you a mysterious item. These are known as mysterious shards. Mysterious shards can be found in the Grand Underground and are extremely rare. They come in two sizes, small and large. You will notice that the person who sells you slates will either trade you a slate for three small mysterious shards or one large mysterious shard. From this, you can see that three small mysterious shards are equal to one large mysterious shard. In the Grand Underground, it is very easy to miss a small mysterious shard. So be very careful and precise with your digging. The large mysterious shards are fairly obvious and should be easy to spot. Sometimes you can get lucky and have multiple mysterious shards at one digging site. I have never personally experienced this, but I know a lot of other people who have shown me screenshots of them finding these shards. I also have a whole entire video called The Ultimate Digging Guide in the Grand Underground if you want to know some tips on how to dig properly and what to avoid and maybe some other cool items you might find while you're wasting your time going for these shards down there. So to do all the legendary Pokemon battles in Ramana's Park and catch them, it's going to cost you 39 small mysterious shards or 13 large mysterious shards. If we include the Garatina fight, which doesn't allow you to catch Garatina, but just battle a level 100 version of it, that's going to cost you 42 small mysterious shards or 14 large mysterious shards. So keep that all in mind when you're going in the Grand Underground and you want to be done with this whole entire park at once, just go ahead and mine everything all at once. Here's a few things that I'd like to point out to you guys before you go into these legendary Pokemon battles. Number one, all these Pokemon can be shiny hunted. Keep that in mind. Number two, turn off autosave and please make sure to save before you insert the slate to encounter the legendary Pokemon. If for some reason you defeated the legendary Pokemon, you're going to have to go back to the Grand Underground and dig those shards up all over again and give them back to the vendor in order to encounter that Pokemon. So make sure auto save is off. You do not want to goof once you've gathered so many shards and wasted so many hours of your life. And the third thing that I want to mention are some things that you should do in battle. Make sure that you bring a false swipe Pokemon like Scyther. You'll be able to bring the legendary Pokemon down all the way to 1 HP without KOing it. Also have a Pokemon that can use the status effects like paralysis or sleep. This will also make it a lot easier for you to capture that Pokemon. Bring Quick Balls to use on the first turn, Dusk Balls to use continuously once the Pokemon is at low health, and Timer Balls to use once many turns of the battle has gone on for a very long time. Okay, so when you walk into Romana's Park, the main building, you'll talk to the lady and you'll notice that she only has two slates. Well, one slate. The Discovery Slate that you can buy with three small shards, and the Discovery Slate that you can buy with one large shard. Go ahead and get three, and then enter into Romana's Park. After you enter, it's going to be the first building here. It'll be called the Discovery Room, and you'll be able to enter this and battle. As you can see by the pedestals, it's kind of obvious which Pokemon you're going to be fighting, and it's going to be the Regis. So I inserted the first slate into it. The pedestal started to shine, and the first Pokemon that I finally encountered was the Regi Ice. 
in the pure space. They got their own background and it's pretty cool. So all you got to do is run up to the Pokemon, encounter them and go into battle. I threw a timer ball at this Regiice and I got it. Same thing happened when I encountered Registeel, encountered that Pokemon, went into a quick battle. If your trainer's face shows up, it just proves that the Pokemon has more than two guaranteed IVs. So there it is, Registeel in all its greatness here. I catch this one in a Dusk Ball. And caught. Right after this, you'll notice that the Pokemon you caught will show up as statues in the room. I then insert the final discovery piece in, approach this Regirock, and go into battle. Here's the nice trainer face to confirm the guaranteed IVs on this Reggie. Reggie looks so good here. Throw a timer ball because this fight lasted way too long, more than usual, and ball shaking. Did we get it? Of course we got it. That's why I made this video. And we got the Regirock. After you complete all the Regirocks, you'll get an animation showing off the room with all the statues here. So it looks pretty cool, and this pretty much confirms that you're done with the room. After you finish up with the room, you then want to exit here. Go back into Romana's Park. And this guy is going to stop you and let you know that I'll give you statues that look like the Pokemon you just encountered. And these statues you can place down in the Grand Underground, which will give a very big boost to the type that that Pokemon is. I then went to the counter lady over here, and she's asking, do I want to exchange my Mysterious Shards? And then I see all of a sudden that now I have not only access to Discovery Slates, but now Johto Slate and Soul Slate has been unlocked. By the way, if you're playing the other version of this game, you're going to be having the Kanto Slate unlock in the spot of the Johto Slate. After this, I purchased two Soul Slates and walked to the cave to the left of the Regigigas one. This is the Soul Room, and this is the one where you will find Latios and Latias. So I insert my first Soul Slate into it, and the Pokemon that I'm going to first encounter here is going to be the legendary Latias. I click on it, enter into battle, and throw a Dusk Ball at it. One spin and caught. I'm kidding. It, it was caught because I cut forward in time in the edit. Second Soul Slate I'm going to access here. And it's going to summon the Latios. Go ahead. I go into battle with this thing. My face confirms the 2 IV plus Pokemon. Here it is in its glory. I throw another Dusk Ball. And this should also be a caught one. There we go. After this, you'll get a beautiful animation that is unnecessarily long of Latios and Latias staring at each other. And this room is a lot more beautiful than the Regigigas one because of the cool red glow under Latias and the blue glow under Latios. You'll then see two items in the room. It's just going to be a little soul dew and a little berry on the side. Then you come out, you talk to the guy, he gives you the Latios and the Latias statue. And then I start to see that nothing else was really unlocked. The Distortion Slate here is only appearing because I caught Garatina before coming here, but they had nothing to do with unlocking Garatina in this area. Next room that I got is the Kanto Room or the Johto Room, depending on which game you're playing. It's either going to be the Legendary Birds or it's going to be the Legendary Dogs. If you're playing Brilliant Diamond, you're getting the Dogs. If you're playing Shining Pearl, you are getting the Birds. So the first Pokemon that shows up here is this Suicune. I throw a Dusk Ball and I catch it. Easy peasy. Then it was Entei. After that, it appeared. I throw another Pokeball at it. It's fine. It's caught in a nice timer ball. That went on for a bit. Here's Raikou. Easy peasy. Throw a Pokeball at it. And done. Actually, no. This was an Apricorn Ball. This was a fastball. Ooh, that was... That's a nice catch, actually. And then the Johto Room appears where you chose all the Pokemon. And if you're in the Kanto Room, you're going to have all the legendary birds appear just like that. After finishing this, I exit, talk to the guy, he gives me all the statues, I go up to the counter, I talk to them, and then I notice that I have way more slates unlocked. So once you complete the Kanto or Johto room, that will literally give you access to the rest of the park to catch every other legendary Pokemon. After this, I bought my rainbow slate and then continue to the next room. By the way, if you're playing Shining Pearl, you would be getting your Squall slate. This room is known as the Rainbow Room, but in Shining Pearl, this is called the Squall Room. After that, a legendary ho appears in a very strange background. That's not what I was expecting. If it's Shining Pearl, this would be a Lugia here. And wow, this is the fight. I'm pretty sure this is the distorted space where Garatina lives, but for some reason they put ho ho here. I don't know why. I throw a timer ball at ho ho and I definitely catch it over here. And then we get the really cool animation of Ho-Ho in the Rainbow Room. And if you're playing Shining Pearl, you'll have the nice animation of that Lugia. So yeah, that's 
that's pretty much it for the hoe. Just quite a long animation. There's nothing really else to unlock. We're just going to go ahead and catch some of these other Pokemon. And then go ahead to the right into this little cave. See what legendary Pokemon's in here. And it's the Oceanic Room where I'm going to use my Oceanic Slate. And what Pokemon do you think is going to be here? It's going to be Kyogre. And for some reason, it's also in the strange space that Ho-Ho is in. Nothing really unique. I was hoping for like a water background, but I didn't get it. But if you can see the Pokeball, I managed to catch it in. Oh, baby. Another Apricorn Ball Pokemon catch. Legendary Pokemon catch. And then you get a cool background of the Oceanic Room. I, I really like this waterfall. It, it looks nice. This one's really nice. These unique rooms you get after finishing the basic rooms with all the other Pokemon are great. Solo encounters are absolutely fantastic. Anyway, after we finish this, I'm just going to make this video a lot more simpler and not show you all the catching. I'm going to go to the place where you're going to find Groudon. Groudon is going to be over in this cave over here. So if you have your tectonic slate, you're going to go ahead, place that there, and you would encounter your Groudon. And when you're done, it's going to look like that with the statue appearing as well. Next one I'm going to is all the way on the left side of Romana's Park, which is the Stratospheric Room, and you're going to encounter Rayquaza here. Once you beat Rayquaza, you'll have this cool statue animation that'll show proving you caught it, and just like that, you will have a lovely Rayquaza. The final room that I'm going to is going to be where Mewtwo is. Yes, Mewtwo. I did save this one for last, but yeah, when you finish the Mewtwo battle, you're going to get Mewtwo appearing like it's in a test tube. And that is pretty much it for all the legendaries here. Nothing else. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys about the secret room over here. It is the actual distortion room in the game, which is a callback to Pokemon Platinum, where Garatina used to exist, but you cannot catch Garatina in this area. This is where you're going to be unlocking its special form if you are able to defeat its level 100 boss battle. And just like that, there it is. And I'm not going to show you the fight or anything, but I just want to let you know that that's here and you got to use a slate on that as well. Now to register the other version exclusive legendary Pokemon into your own national decks, I highly suggest that you trade Pokemon that are worth the same value. For example, in Brilliant Diamond, we have Ho-Oh and in Shining Pro, you have Lugia. These would be ideal Pokemon that you would like to touch trade back and forth with your trade partner. The same thing applies for Entei and Moltres, Raikou and Zapdos and Suicune and Articuno. So if you're looking for a place to do those trades, head to our Discord and go ahead and trade them. That's down in the description below. Now you guys know how to unlock and capture all the legendary Pokemon that are in Ramana's Park. If you enjoyed this video and it helped out, make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below which legendary Pokemon is your favorite, or if you already did this, which one was your favorite encounter. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. There's like 98% of you guys who watch these videos who aren't even subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. You have nothing to lose. It takes a second and it'll help us out a lot. My name is Philly Beats You, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.